Your charm meter looks like this. It goes up when you do things to take care of your character's appearance, and decreases when you don't. This is a combination of your looks, voice, fashion, posture, and confidence, to name a few variables. By increasing the stat, you have an easier time getting the romantic relationship achievement, more work success, and other bonuses that get included with the attractiveness buff. So let's discuss an easy way to get started on improving this crucial social stat. First things first, during character creation there's RNG based on the appearance of both your character's parents. This means our appearance will be some kind of amalgam of theirs. This means that certain bodily features cannot be changed outside of paying for the cosmetic surgery DLC, which can be pricey. So the things that are unlikely to change once a player character reaches maturity are face, height, and voice. So this may impose a soft limit to how high you can increase your charm stat. However, it's not the end of the world, as there are four components available to you that can improve this stat significantly. Starting with your hygiene. Taking care of your hygiene and general grooming are key components of your charm. You can separate good hygiene as top, middle, and bottom. Top is your hair and face. Assuming your player character has hair on their head, find a cut that fits your face. There are strategy guides on this already, but an advanced strategy is to ask other players who aren't your same gender. For example, if you're a man, ask a woman to better understand what is more attractive to them. Knowing the difference of girl pretty versus boy pretty is important for the dating meta. Aside from a good cut, make sure that your do is maintained. Walking out with bedhead is less work, but will hurt your charm. This also means to wash it on a near daily basis for most players. Keep in mind certain hair types and styles need to be washed at less frequent intervals like those with dreadlocks. There are also different types of shampoo and conditioner items that one can use for your hair. Although we won't go too in depth in this guide, just keep in mind, an all-in-one item should definitely not be used in these cases. I'll toss a list of things you should have at the end of the video. As for your face, depending on your RNG, you may have hair that grows in a variety of areas from the middle of your eyebrows, upper lip, chin, and so on. Grooming of facial hair is highly socially dependent, so you may be in places that like certain combinations of facial hair regardless of gender, so keep that in mind. If you decide to remove facial hair, your options are usually a razor, tweezers, threading, or waxing. As for any of these activities, the best advice is to do so with caution, as you could inflict the bleeding debuff if you're not careful. Next for face, we have skin care. Face skin types vary from dry, oily, normal, combination, or sensitive. Knowing your skin type is important and maintaining some type of routine is recommended. If you're prone to the acne debuff, you're already aware of this. But even if you don't have a routine, it's good to consider. Something basic like applying sunscreen to your face is shown to better your skin's appearance and works as armor against UV elemental damage from the sun. Lastly, we have dental care. Taking care of your mouth is the final piece of this puzzle. Bare minimum, player characters should floss, wash, and brush their teeth twice a day. Once when waking up, and once before bed. Consumable items can get stuck in a player's mouth and can cause bacteria to grow inside, which can lead to a variety of debuffs especially the dreaded bad breath, or halitosis. Continuing down, we have the middle section which involves your torso, arms, and hands. The same thing applies here for grooming as it does with your face. There may be different expectations and social pressures to shave certain areas of the body like the armpits. This guide isn't going to say whether those expectations are good or bad, but if you're wanting to increase overall appeal and charm, following those expectations in your given environment will generally be more efficient. Or optionally, going to a location that fits with your desired social expectations. That being said, regardless of where you go, you should be showering and cleaning your body frequently. When showering, the process is wash, lather, rinse, and repeat. You may see a variety of different types of soap items on sale, but you don't need anything particularly high in price. Moving along, you should work to give each part of your body attention in this process, especially places more prone to sweating. Some characters have higher levels of sweat or work in more labor-intensive jobs that will cause their bodies to be dirtier than the average player character, so this will increase the frequency of their shower schedule and need for more intense cleaning. Additionally, there are other factors such as what consumable items you ingest that can have effect on your general levels of body odor. Deodorant or some fragrances like perfume or cologne are useful items to mitigate part of body odor, but they are not substitutions for showering. Going on to the hands, we have another decision for nail length. As I'm sure you expected, this is also based on social standards and even certain skill sets. Women, for instance, have an easier time displaying a variety of links and styles for their nails, while men are normally expected to have them shorter, and typically without color. This is up to your discretion with the same caveat stated earlier. If you want general charm appeal, then you should follow the social standard, and if you don't want to, this will make it more difficult to do so, but not necessarily impossible. Also, wash your hands with soap and water after the urination quick time event, please. Bottom is your sexual organs, legs, and feet. These all have most of the same statements as earlier. Shaving hair in these areas depends on your gender and environment, and they should be cleaned thoroughly just like the rest of the body. Even if you think you may be thorough, you should aim to slightly over clean just in case. That's mainly directed at my fellow male characters. 
Additionally, most characters know to clean up after defecating, but not everyone wipes after urinating, which is another good strat. One last tidbit of hygiene is of regular maintenance. If there is something that looks weird on your player model, like a bump or blemish, or you smell or feel something unusual, this may mean that there is something in the steps earlier that are not being followed. And if they are, consulting someone of the doctor class is a good idea if you're still concerned. So that's a basic guide for hygiene to increase your charm stat. Something that is always important to keep in mind is that these things listed in this video are the bare minimum, and are expected by most player characters. Does doing all this mean you'll immediately get into a romantic relationship? Probably not. But will it increase your odds? Yes, along with some other factors that we'll get into in later videos. This is the first part to the mini-series for your charm set. Next time we'll get into the next step, which is your fitness. As always, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.